It's an edible centerpiece your guests will fawn over. Fancy finger foods that double as decor and in a totally doable way. That's the good part about it, people. Amy Richardson with Great Taste Buds is the mastermind behind this charcuterie board. First things, what? is a charcuterie. It's and am I saying it right? Let's talk about it. <laughs> yes, you so are. That was perfect. It's, um, it's like a meat platter or a meat. It's all featuring meats and cheeses, so kind of fun. And I love this. I know you came on in the summer and you brought a different board, so this is a new. This is a new idea. This has kind of got a fun um, German theme to it. I thought that that might be kind of fun or, it. you know, Bavarian. So. I just picture men and like <laughs> totally. furs just banging on the table. <laughs> it is awesome. Okay, so tell us about the party Let's, let's see okay, this so I, I was talking, I was kind of trying to think of what would be a fun idea, and I was remembering we were talking about this idea, and I remember when I was 18, my parents took me to um, Germany, and we went to the Hofbrau House. Have you ever heard of it? I have Maybe. not, but tell me about it. <laughs> well, it's it been there for like 400 years. It's totally like classic German. You go in, there's these huge tables. They have like people wearing lederhosen, I and they bring out lederhosen. all these cheeses and meats and stuff for you to eat. And it's funny, I mean, little tiny kids are drinking huge things of beer. You're like, what is going on here? <laughs> it's a party but over it there. It is a party. Um, and so this is kind of the basis for this idea. And um, I love it. And thing. so you have so many elements. Walk us through kind of what you have here, and how do we go about building this for our own party? Okay, so do you want to talk about the food first? Or do you want to talk about the board? Okay, give us the board, and then we'll get the to board? the board. Okay, so because the board is gorgeous. The board is gorgeous. Did you find this tree, or did you find this? Well, board? I went to um, McBeath Hardwood, which is down on Third West and about 17 South, and okay. they do all kinds of gorgeous wood. Um, they're like exotic, incredible kinds of woods that they have there. And I said, I'm kind of looking for something that could be like a sideboard for your house, you know, like a sideboard or something you could put on the coffee table or your dining table when you're serving this kind of food. Well, and you're hitting on a theme there because natural wood is so big right now just with it, interior it, design. No, and all it these is. Other things. It is. We see it everywhere. But how fun if you don't want to invest in a natural wood, to, even having that well, on a side right, table. Right, and you can just take it wherever you want. I kind of think this is very masculine piece of wood. Like, what husband wouldn't want to have their game oh, yeah. treats on they, it, you know, they kind want of it thing? On that Table. Yeah, right so um, when you go, you can just pick out. They have tons. You can spend a lot or you can spend not as much. Just kind of depends on what your price range is. And then did is. you treat it with something um, to yes, make it so that we can Yes, you need to throw... use this special stuff called uh, the good stuff. And it's made by Emmett's. They sell it there and you need to put a coating on it, but it makes it food safe. Okay. So because you need to, you lovely. can't just get any kind of wood. You have to make sure you get one that's food safe. Okay, good. So Question good to, to ask know. when you're going <laughs> to get your board. board. Tell them you're going to put board. food on it. Yes. Get so. it. Okay. Food safe. Okay, so okay, now walk me through the food the because food, we've got a variety here. Um, I thought it would be fun to have a different, some different kinds of. Obviously, we're going to do the meats. So we've got um, a black forest ham, kind of going with the German theme. And I think if you just, the thing that's great about the wood is you just put it like right on it. Okay. So it's kind of fun. You know, you can make a display of however you want. I've got black forest ham. And I bought some, because we're kind of in that time of the year, I got some uh, corned beef. And you can make them into like little rosettes, kind of like I've done. Or you can just lay it out any kind of thing, any now, way you want. Is this just a lunch meat that you're getting cut at the grocery store? You say thinly sliced? Or yeah, you, this is like, this? this is from okay. Harmon's where I got this. And th Harmon's, I got a summer sausage because that's kind of classic Aww. German type food. But they have some absolutely de delicious ones there. Um, so this kind of like what you want to do as far as your meats go. You can choose any kind you want and then you just put it directly right onto the you board. You know, and this is, maybe you, did, you probably did this intentionally, but it sure ends up looking so beautiful with the colors. <laughs> well, that's kind of what you're kind different... of going for. Yeah. Something like that. And then I thought um, some things to go with your meats is to have some different kinds of mustards. The men really like the mustards. Um, I've got some baby gherkins and some sauerkraut. Um, rye bread. I made homemade pretzels. Oh, um, which my are goodness. Those are so, lovely. I've never made them before and they're easy. And how was it? Oh, oh, and they are so really? good hot out of the oven. I think what a fun and yummy treat. Because fact, they look like they're tricky. They aren't. I thought they would be too, like because you're like having to boil them and all this stuff. But they're delicious, and I've got the recipe for that on the website. Okay. And then I think what else is kind of a fun thing to have is you need like little tiny things that people can eat. So like nuts with some fruit. I've got some hazelnuts, and then you want to go with some really good cheese. So I've got Holy some Jarlsberg, which I love. This is a Bavarian herb. Um, Cambazola is classic German, which I didn't know that. And then some classic fun. When I was in Germany, they had these little cheeses that you just spread on they're soft and they're delicious and you just put those with your bread and it's terrific. Okay so we've kind of got the heavy stuff going on the good stuff that's gonna fill you up but then you brought some sweets. 
I, well, I felt and like this is fun this, to mix this in with kind of the salty, to go meatier, with it. heavier food. You need it to kind of break it yeah. up a little bit. So I got some red pears, and I just sliced those really thin. And see, the fun thing about a board like this is you can just put your stuff out there, and then people can just kind of pick and choose, and it's very conversational. And you know, you just eat as you go and just have some fun. And then I made some um, like apple strudel twists to go with it. Oh, I love so. it. So now, are people? Do you let people kind of finger through this, or how do you serve this? How do you serve this? Well, when I did it this summer, and I did it quite a few times, we just had little tiny plates, and then people just kind of take off what they want. You know, you put just out some it. knives, put out some forks. You know, you don't want everybody touching every single thing. But you know what I mean? It's kind of a fun way to do it. But it is conversational, especially if you have it on a table and everybody's kind of sitting around it. Well, it really is. And the other thing that's nice about it is if you if you go hungry to a party, I mean, you're going to have enough to There's eat. There's going to be stuff, yeah. There's enough it to is. eat. It's beautiful. <laughs> and sauces, you're saying, let's just do mustards. Uh, you, you, could do any, you could do anything you want, but I think the mustards are really fun. I so. love it. Okay. And we can follow you on Instagram. Get more That's of That's right. Ideas. Instagram, um, great taste buds. Great taste buds. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. This is just a lovely board.